Hello, welcome to Red Ted Art. Today we're going to show you how to make one of these paracord bracelets or paracord bracelets that have a little adjustable strap. Um, now this one I haven't actually quite finished yet because I wanted to just make sure it fits my children properly before I totally finish it but I will be taking these little bits off at the end. Um, you can make these paracord, paracord bracelets using buckles but I quite like doing them without the buckles simply because it means you can make them anywhere, any place. So this is how to make a strapless paracord, paracord bracelet. Right. Firstly you're going to need uh, two bits of paracord, different colours. This one will be my um, wrist, you know, the inside colour. Uh, it should be about, well, we basically measure it to make it just a bit bigger than your hand. But I'm actually just going to cut it at the end. So that's the first one. The second one is your, your main colour, your contrasting colour. So I've got here about uh, 58 inches of cord. Um, that should make a nice adult size bracelet. Now you can use, I would say, that one probably used about 50 inches. So, um, you know, you, you have to experiment a little bit and, um, you know, you know, start off a bit longer to begin with. Obviously, that means there'll be a bit of wastage. Um, and then, uh, you know, once you know exactly your, your size, you, you can be a bit more accurate. When you've cut it off, what you will need to do is take a lighter. Now, this is for grown-ups. Please only do this with the help of a grown-up. If you're younger, if you're older, obviously, do what you like. I remember doing this when I was about 11 or 12, and this was my favourite bit. So once you've cut it... You need to just give it a slight sort of melt like that. You can tap it against the side of your lighter and that will secure it. Otherwise it'll start fraying. So you do need to, you do need a lighter and you do need scissors. So to make one of these adjustable band paracord bracelets with no buckle, you start off, make this one a bit longer because this is going to be your, you'll knot it later. And um, you know, this one you'll cut down later. Get your power cord, make sure it's folded in exactly half so that these line up at the other end. Put this behind like that, so can you see? And now, so now I've kind of spread the others out. Get this nice and straight like that. Take one side and fold it over. So you've got this sort of loop what's underneath over the top. So I'm just holding this tight because I want my middle to stay where it is. Otherwise, I'd end up with different lengths. Now, this one goes over the top, so over the top, and then behind both and back out here. So, so I'm going to, can you see, pull it through, and then because I want that middle bit to stay in the right place, here we go. First knot. Good job. Nice and neat. Tighten it. Now you can see there's a little knot here and it's plain here. So you know that you start working from this side, whatever this little knot is. Again, you take your core and you loop it over like that. Take the other side and go over the top like that. And then again, loop it through behind. Pull it. You've got your first and just a little set of knots. So now this time you can see you've got your cord here. So I'm going to lift that over like this and take that one over the top and I'm going to go underneath and pull it through. There we go, two sets done. So I'll show you one more time on both sides and then I'm gonna just carry on doing it by myself. So uh, the knot is on this side. So you take that over, across, and you bring that one over the top like that. And then you push it through behind and pull. Like that. So. Like I said, one more. Here's the knot, this side. So you pull it over. Take this one over the top. Push it through. And off 
you go. Right, so I've got a link that I like. Woohoo, look, I could have got a couple more in, but I think it's uh, just about right with my 58 centimetres. You might have seen me undo a couple of knots and redo them in speed. Um, that's when I lose concentration, and that's when I don't listen to the which side's the knot on. So always go to the side of the knot, fold over. Now, at this stage, what do you do next? You do a little cut. Don't do it too close to the edge, otherwise you might... Um, and you can't fuse it basically. Then you take your, your, your lighter and you very carefully singe it. There we go. Oh, even better. And then you can even press it down a little bit. There we go. This is a bit, like I said, that I used to love best when I was young. Again, cut it just so and then put the lighter. Singe it. Now, do get an adult to help you to do this if you're younger. And also, if you can, make sure to try and make it melt a little bit towards the cord that is around it so that it kind of stays nice and secure because obviously you don't want it coming undone. There we go. So I've kind of squished it against the others so that it doesn't come undone. 
Now you do the same up here. So this is going to be your knot. So I'm going to cut this off a little bit, this one, so the shorter one. And again, I'm going to melt it properly down. This one's going to get really wet, melty. I'm going to let it cool a little and then squish it nicely down. There we go. Because you really don't want it coming out by accident. That's one end. There we go. Remember, do this with an adult only. Now, uh, if I look, this is the same as that length there, so I'm going to cut this top bit off so I've got the opposing ends. It just means it sits a bit nicer when you're putting them together. Here we go. And again, do your singeing. Just gently, you don't want to set fire to it, and then melt it down. Don't touch it, it's hot. You can touch it a little bit, like now it's cooled down a tiny bit. You can touch it a little bit at that point. So, that's your basic bracelet. Now I'm going to cut a bit off. Actually, let's just check the length. So I want to probably have it about this length. So I'll need to have space for knotting. Like that. In theory, I could um, melt that down, but I need to do the knots first, so there's no point. So basically, you get your bracelet size. Obviously, it's adjustable, so you don't have to get it too accurate, but you want to have sort of the size that, that fits your wrists best, and then just push it through and do a little knot. Can you see? Just a box standard little knot like that. There we go. That's one side. And then the same on the other side. Just a little knot. Which means we can now adjust it. So this would be the big size, obviously very big, Daddy can have a go. Or like that, for small. And then what you'll do is, like with the other ones, you're going to give it a little snip and a melt, and a little snip and a melt, and then you've got your knot secure. But again, I do kind of want to check these with my children because they do have smaller hands than me, and I want to make sure it fits nice and neat for them. And that is how you make paragord cord bracelets without buckles and with adjustable straps. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to Redhead Art. We hope to see you here again soon. Bye.